One year ago, no one really knew who Casey Anthony was. But tonight, she stands accused of a crime that has made international headlines. To put what has transpired in the last year in perspective, we begin tonight a special series, Timeline, Casey, One Year Ago. Here's investigative reporter Tony Pipitone. May 6, 2008. Casey Anthony exchanges computer messages with one of her lovers, then Orange County Deputy Anthony Ruschiano. Bring your fine little over here sometime today, Ruschiano types, prompting Casey to reveal the first cracks in a life that was unraveling. God, I'm so sick of having to rely on other people, Casey types, claiming she's playing phone tag with both Zanny, the mystery nanny, and my mom. Want me to bring the little snot head, Casey types, referring to Kaylee. When Ruschiano doesn't answer, she types, didn't think so. As the day last May 6th grows longer, with no child care in sight, Casey grows impatient. If my nanny can babysit tonight, I'm set. If not, I'm screwed. By nightfall, it's clear she cannot leave Kaylee, and she apparently does not meet Ruschiano. I'm sad. I've been sad all day. I've been sad for days, Casey types. Too bad I can't move out tomorrow would make some of this a lot easier. Within months, things would get a lot harder for Casey Anthony. And just think of all that's happened since May 6, 2008. There are several events, large and small, that now, one year later, give you a better perspective of how all this has developed, with now Kaylee Anthony dead and her mother charged with her murder. And as those events warrant, we will bring them to you one year later. Tony Pipitone, Local 6, Problem Solvers.